This is the scalability session. Um, I've only put the slides together this morning. At about 6 a.m. I was ready, so uh, sorry if there are any errors or uh, uh, I'm, I stumble a bit on my words and stuff. I hadn't, didn't have much time to practice. Um, yeah, well, scalability, that should say it, I think. Um, uh, the agenda, uh, I want to give a brief introduction uh, mainly about me because uh, the session is uh, it's a joint one with Frank, but I think most of you know Frank, but not me. Uh, then I want to uh, uh, talk about uh, the documentation that uh, Nextcloud has, uh, and then some uh, large-scale deployments uh, from uh, existing customers, and uh, last, uh, a concept design, and then um, the point of this, this presentation actually is uh, that Frank will answer my questions because it's, it was supposed to be a lightning session for five minutes, uh, which I thought, well, that's a, that's a great place to ask all my questions because I want to do a, a large implementation. But they bumped me up to this session, so uh, hopefully I'll still get those answers uh, if he doesn't stay too long on the, uh, uh, in the hallway. Um, yeah. After that, you can ask your questions, and hopefully Frank will answer them too. I'm Dennis Pennings. I'm from 360 ICT, so I'm not from Nextcloud. Um, it's a small company in the Netherlands, uh, about 20 em employees, uh, mainly system operators. Uh, I'm a system operator as well, uh, so no, no developers, uh, which is a little bit strange in this kind of crowd, I think. But, uh, we, uh, we did a, a, a small proof of concept, and we decided uh, we want to uh, use Nextcloud for uh, our own large-scale implementation. Uh, it's supposed to be for 10,000 users, but there's an option to go to 20,000 users. And as I said, my main goal is to uh, get the answers on all the questions I have for this uh, uh, scalability design because uh, I'm no expert. Uh, I just have a lot of questions uh, while uh, we were figuring out how to build uh, an implementation for 10,000 users. Also, the, the point of this uh, presentation is if I get all the answers I want, I'll update the documentation with all the information I will get. After we tried uh, Nextcloud, we wanted to... Uh, uh, we were really excited about the product um, and we wrote a business case to deploy it to uh, a lot of users and uh, basically um, we started with uh, a small implementation that's, that's, uh, that's this one it's a small work group we have about 15, 20 users on it or so we just tested uh, all the functionality it's a really basic setup. Uh, all the roles are on one, on one system, one server. Uh, you, could, you could connect an LDAP server. That's not, that's, yeah, that's the basics. I think that's, that's pretty, uh, yeah, this is solid, I think. This is, this is used a lot. So if you go to uh, the next step, that's a mid-size. It's a little bit bigger, 1,000 users, 200 terabytes. And you can also see in the picture that it's, uh, it's a lot of more servers. Uh, it has, uh, in the picture, it has two web servers. It's got a, a storage server, a, a, a picture that's the NFS server. Uh, it's tied to an LDAP server for identity. And uh, it's got two database servers. And also, not to, not to forget, a an, uh, an load balancer on front, and uh, actually a software load balancer. I think most of you know, know it, right? This is actually the picture that I saw, and then I read a little bit further on, and then I read uh, database MySQL MariaDB, uh, MariaDB, <laughs> Galera cluster. So uh, that's that's not what I think he, this is. This is the old uh, old database uh, picture. So I think this picture needs to be updated first, and uh, there's always missing all, uh, also missing an LDAP. Uh, slave uh, that should be should be here and here I think <coughs> so this picture needs to be updated a little bit then um, the large uh, uh, the large implementations uh, the documentation says 100,000 users uh, up to one petabyte 
And if you look at the picture, it's a little bit cluttered, sorry. <laughs> I had a little bit of trouble getting all, everything in the slide. Uh, but you can you see it, see it instantly. It's, it's got lots more servers. Uh, uh, it actually has the minimum uh, amount of web servers that the recommendation gives because it says here uh, four to 20 application, uh, application servers. The, the, I think there were enough lines with just four application servers. So, uh, but it should, uh, that could be expanded to web servers from four to 20 or maybe more. The recommendations say 20. You see also uh, load balancers on front, uh, uh, hardware load balancers in this case, uh, F5, a big IP, I think. Um, also the NFS server, uh, LDAP master, uh, and uh, the, same, uh, the same database servers, but more of them also I don't think that's the right picture because also here it's uh, in the documentation says uh, Galera cluster, so that's a different picture. <coughs> but um, you can also see that there's more database servers here, and that's the that's what it says here for database servers, with quite big, and uh, also some reader servers added on. So this is, the, this is what the documentation says. says. This is what we uh, looked at uh, at front. I was a little bit surprised uh, to see that kind of schema because uh, you'll, you'll see further on <coughs> uh, lots, of, uh, lots of customers that only, only use, use Galera. But uh, I didn't read uh, the documentation on further because I thought I saw it in the picture. So that's a little bit misleading, I think. So I think we should update that. But this is the, there was the main place that I uh, went to at first to see what I should do to create a large scale implementation. Then um, I found some other notes in, the, in that same documentation. Uh, you should use LDAP slaves on the web servers. Uh, I already uh, showed you that it's the, uh, in the picture that it should be on the web, on, on the web server should be a local LDAP slave for performance. Uh, you, should, you, should, you should use SSL offloading on the load balancers. Uh, that's, I think that's the, uh, uh, I think that's added in. Yeah. Yes. You have experience to changing the software load balancer to hardware load balancer. Are there big advantage for I think, I think yes, because we actually use hardware load balancers, but <laughs> all the large customers all use software. But the main advantage of a hardware load balancer, I think, my personal opinion, is there is a dedicated uh, hardware in the hardware load balancer to do the SSL offloading. <coughs> so uh, you would offload the SSL work to the load balancer, so you, you don't have to have that much web servers because uh, you take a little bit load from the web servers. And because the SS, the, there is a lot of SSL traffic going on, uh, it, it could be a, uh, a major step. I, I, don't, I don't know what kind of scale, if you, have, if, if you can have the, the amount of web servers. I don't know. We should test that. That's a good idea. From my experience, I tested for this approximately uh, with many, many from compute class of just attacking the server to see. Mm -hmm. What is the load of that this hard proxy? It was making also offloading the SSL transaction for backend servers. And he was not so loaded, so that was okay. not use any uh, Yeah, I think it's ACE. Uh, I think for the SSL offloading. In the real case, it's simply sleeping from one. When you can look on it, it's always not using too much resources. Uh, uh, well, um, yeah. uh, I think you need ASEC processors that those are specific for SSL offloading and they're not in general server hardware. Uh, same, uh, Sorry? Sorry, I don't As I said, I'm no expert. I've got a personal opinion. I don't, I, I could find out. Uh, 
and could I find out some more? Mm. Uh, you have a question as well? Mine sells hard at home and he says exactly the same. There are only few companies who really need hard at home and apps. The rest we can do with high tech and proxy. And he sells hardware. So, yeah. yeah. Just to write the documentation for non experts, you require hardware, not balance, not Yeah. Because therefore, it's not Yeah, well, as I said, I'm not. Uh, uh, one more moment, please. Uh, as I said, I'm no expert. I just, um, um, uh, I'm just mentioning what the documentation says. Uh, I'll show you uh, um, in the next part. I'll show the, the large customers and how they do it. Uh, and I'll, I'll say now that they don't use hardware load balancers. So, sorry. Uh, I may have missed something, but are you using both Eltap and Sibolet for user management or, or one? Right. You mentioned both Delta and a Sibolet. Are you using both? Um, uh, it's possible. Uh, um, usually, uh, the Sibolet would be used you know, instead of Delta. Yeah, so there are, there are scenarios where you, you can do both. You, use both, you yeah. can use both. Yeah. And there are scenarios where it makes sense. For example, um, Sibolet does provide food. Some questions for that too on the, on the last of the slide. <laughs> uh, use readers um, for session management, memory caching, and file locking. We've actually had some problems with file locking in the just one server uh, setup with uh, web dev uh, connections. Uh, we're actually still on own cloud because there was a little bug in OSX and uh, WebTAF connection, but I think it's fixed now. So we'll be going to ne next cloud one of these days. And then I'll, I'll really uh, curious if this uh, thing is uh, solved. And um, the documentation also says uh, use uh, memcached if you, if you use Shibboleth. So um, up to the next chapter. Um, after, I've, uh, after I went through the documentation, uh, I went uh, to search some more online, so on what I could find. And then I found, um, uh, I was referenced to uh, CS3 uh, by uh, Jacob from uh, CERN. Is he in the room right now, by the way? Oh, okay, well, if you see this online, Jacob, thank you. Uh, it took me two days to watch all the sessions, but uh, I, I watched them and all the information that was in, inside, I put in a large sheet and I'm gonna present it right now. Um, CS3 is a, a conference as well uh, for uh, customers who have large implementations uh, for cloud and sync applications. Uh, most of them, uh, a lot of them use uh, own cloud. Um, uh, and there, this conference is once a year. Uh, if, you, if you have a large implementation or if you want a large implementation, I definitely advise to go there. Um, the sessions uh, that were in the past from two, 2016 are on the top URL. And the next meet is in the Netherlands, I think. Um, the website was down uh, last night, I think. Uh, <laughs> But two days ago, I saw, it, uh, saw a date mentioned uh, on uh, 30th of January. Uh, it was not down, but it was out of maintenance, in maintenance. So uh, I think uh, somebody uh, uh, published some information too soon. Okay. Okay. Well, I was, I was just going to tell about the question mark, so. <laughs> But uh, just check out uh, the URL. I think that, that will have the most current information about it, about the conference. That's also the next point. Uh, all my day, the information I gathered is from January 2016. So that's nine months ago. Um, I've ma mailed a lot of those uh, presenters for uh, updated data and some extra questions. Uh, a few of them have already answered. Uh, I will. I will keep uh, gathering this information and keep publishing as, 
uh, as I get it. Uh, I also have uh, some appointments with some large customers to talk about their issues uh, because I, uh, I want to know their issues before we start our deployment. Uh, but it's a little bit out of date. Uh, uh, it, I think uh, most of it will be updated uh, on the 30th of January, I hope. Next, yeah, this is, um, this is uh, basically uh, the information I've gathered. Um, there were all different sessions, so I don't have all the data for all, uh, all specs, but it shows some interesting things. Uh, actually, it, it, I, had, had, I've get, I had gathered information, but I found out I, ha I needed lots and lots more. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going, going to work about. But, um, Let's see what, uh, what you can uh, find out about the information I did gather. Um, on the left, you see the, the recommended design from Nextcloud. Uh, it scales from five to 100,000 users. If you look at the, the large customers, uh, the largest customer has 25,000 users uh, working. Uh, they say they, uh, they have a potential for 500,000 users. This was all in January, so I don't know what the count now is. Um, MyCore is a good example for that. The, they uh, had in January 4,000 users, and they wanted to go to 15,000 users on the end of the year. So, <coughs> uh, but yeah, the, all the data is from January. <coughs> um, if you, um, yeah, so there's, I, I don't see any, uh, I haven't seen any large implementations of, 50, of larger than 25,000 users. Uh, maybe you have? Um, More? Have you seen large implementations larger than 25,000 users? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Concurrent of a, a unique users? Yeah, sure. Okay. How large? Yes. Big installations close to 2 million users in India. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. I would like to add them. <laughs> yeah. Documentation, the recommended design. It says four to 20 users. And on this table, it says 12 users. But on the, in the documentation itself, it says 20 web servers. You can see that the, uh, the, cus the, the customer base has yeah, somewhere between that. Uh, a minimum of two, a maximum of 20. Uh, but you can also tie that to the hardware uh, for the number of cores uh, and memory to the, to the servers. Obviously, uh, um, uh, they have, sorry, yeah? Um, this day, will you make this, this slide clear? Sorry? Uh, will this slide clear? Yeah, okay. Is this data you collected or did you take it from this somewhere? Sorry? Is the data you're presenting? Did you just come from CS3 or you collected this yourself? From, yeah, I've collected it by watching uh, CS3 presenters. Sorry? Uh, it's interesting. Yes, that's what, yeah, that's what took all my night last night, <laughs> all my time last night. <laughs> the first column is the recommended, recommended design from Nextcloud. That's on the uh, documentation website. That's, that's what I uh, showed uh, before. It's, it's like this. Ah, okay. It's on the left side, the docs.nextcloud.com. Yeah, um, yeah uh, there are some large uh, web servers uh, in between from SIBO, uh, 16 nodes, uh, 16 core per node, and 128 of gigs. <coughs> uh, I think they're, a little, uh, they're uh, oversubscribed, so I think they're uh, I don't think they're uh, max. Yeah, I don't think they have a really high load. If I look at the uh, different specs, that's. Um, but this this is this is design. Uh, it's 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 uh, how many servers you would build up front. Uh, I think you would start somewhere, uh, and then just look how things are progressing, how your user bases use uh, uh, are working out how many load that actually is on your web servers, and then scale extra, uh, add more RAM, add more web servers. Uh, I think if you, if you look at the recommendation, uh, number of nodes, uh, no, uh, the amount of hardware, 
it's all a little bit in line with the number of users uh, that's, that are on top. So the thing that you're thinking is that um, some of those projects that are just planned can be different. For example, the people one you mentioned is the publicly funded project, which is uh, funded for several years by the sector member of the EU or maybe the private And the hardware was bought up front. Um, and this is, uh, this is planned to scale up to 500,000 users. Yes. yes. So it, it would be more interesting to see what the, what the actual load are, is on these systems. So that's what I've asked, but uh, I don't have that data yet. Yeah, the recommendation looks in line with, the, uh, with what the customers are doing, I think. <coughs> the database, um, the recommendation says, my, uh, recommends MySQL MariaDB with Galera, uh, but they also support Oracle and Postgres. I'm not sure if that's still the case. Yeah, okay. But uh, it's actually moot because everyone uses MySQL and MariaDB. <coughs> All in a Galera setup, I think. Uh, oh, oh, there's one exception, that's CERN. But that's, that's a big exception, I think. I'm not going too deeply on it because, uh, but they've, they've uh, I think they made a fork of the software and they uh, had removed the reliability on the, on the, uh, on, a, uh, on the SQL survey on itself. They use their storage system as a, as a SQL database. I'm not saying that correctly, I think, but... Uh, yeah, it's based, I, I think if I read the file cache, uh, uh, I can see how they should get rid of the other things. Yeah, it's a very convenient setup. For example, the test is we can go directly to the storage. I think they are their category on it on their own, but it, it's it's interesting to see that they're not have that much users and not that much amount of data. They are not uh, the biggest. Yeah. They have some But they do have all the uh, native own cloud, own cloud clients. Yeah. So on the, end, on the user end, there's nothing changed. Um, also here, uh, you can see on the database side, uh, a four node, a four node, four socket, 128 gigabytes of design specification. I have. I've deleted the number of nodes, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but it should be four. Most of the clients all have four nodes. There are a few that have three. Three is the minimum for um, uh, a Galera cluster. So, uh, but the specifications say four, most, most customers are on four uh, nodes. There are some smaller uh, servers uh, in between from uh, MyCore. Uh, and uh, Xibo has uh, big ones and uh, Surf as well. I know from Surf that they started out with less memory, but they had uh, some uh, issues with uh, the load on their servers, so they upgraded it to 265. Um, and that's quite interesting if you see that they're only at 13,000 users. So uh, I'll hope to get some more information about that. Uh, by the way, that, that's... that's um, that's a customer who has uh, uh, a dedicated environment just for uh, own cloud. Mm. Um, storage, yeah, that's uh, that's a uh, that's a bit of a uh, of a of a gray area. Um, of course, what should Nextcloud say about storage apart from that they support it? 
Uh, I'm not sure, that's one of my questions on the end. But uh, you see that there are a lot of options, NFS, S3, uh, Ceph, Cluster FS, uh, GPFS, and Swift. And the customers use uh, uh, a lot of uh, cluster FS, which I think is a, an on-site, uh, one-site uh, solution, and uh, a lot of uh, um, a large uh, file storage so uh, solutions like Ceph and Scality. Uh, uh, as I said, EOS is, is, a, is, a, is a flavor of its own. Uh, although there are two customers who uh, are actually looking into it to use EOS as well. That's uh, uh, Cloud Store and uh, Surf, I think. They are interested in the EOS option. Yeah, but this is also very hard to compare because you, should, you could actually only compare if the storage is used exclusively just for Nextcloud, I think because a lot of these uh, uh, large customers have uh, storage solutions for all their services. Uh, there are a few universities within uh, uh, here and a lot of research centers and they use their storage for all kinds of things. And it's the same with CERN, they have this uh, really big storage system, but there's only 1.3 petabyte uh, only, 1.3 petabyte uh, dedicated for uh, own cloud. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, I think it's, uh, that's one of my main issues where I ran into for what should I uh, set up for kind of storage. Excuse me, uh, there's some information about the number of files per system used to own cloud. Yeah, I've got some information about that. Uh, that's, this is actually uh, a part, one quarter of the sheet I have. I will sh publish the sheet as well. <coughs> uh, and it's, it's got more info, but uh, I couldn't get it all on one slide. <laughs> so, um, but I'm going to walk through a little bit uh, of the interesting things. Uh, you, I can, you can see the number of files here. Um, you see uh, they all use PHP uh, 5.5. They all, all use um, own cloud 8. Uh, that's because I think in January 8.2 was the current version and version 9 only came out in April, I think. So nobody says something, so I'm guessing it's right. <coughs> so that's, that's, um, that's, a, that's a thing uh, uh, because it's nine months, because the date is nine months old. So I'm curious to see uh, if the one of these customers actually upgraded to nine. Something else interesting, yes, yeah, storage. Uh, the, the, speci the design specifications from Nextcloud say use SSD storage in your uh, SQL service and uh, the customers who, who uh, have mentioned what kind of storage they use in their SQL service all use SSD. There's one customer um, who used Ceph as the main storage for their SQL servers, but they ran into problems with 4,000 users and then they moved to dedicated SSD storage on their SQL nodes. I'm not sure which one it is, it's somewhere. <laughs> Network, that, that's, that's the thing we talked about. Um, uh, the design specification says hardware load balancer, but uh, if you look at the customers, they all use uh, uh, they have used H, H proxy and they all went to max scale, <coughs> uh, most of them. Uh, so that it's all software based. Some other interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, SurfDrive is uh, looking into uh, other storage systems. They have some problems with cluster FS. Uh, one of the issues is that if they add another cluster FS, uh, it takes two months to rebalance the data over all the nodes. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they have ten, about nine storage servers, uh, so about 10 terabytes per storage server, a little bit more. Uh, and they have backup, backup issues. I don't know the details, I hope to find out because I have a, an appointment with Ron who manages the, the surf drive and uh, I'm very curious to see. Sorry? Somebody has ZFX problems. ZFX? Uh, cluster FS. They had problems with cluster FS. On the cluster? Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a uh, surf drive. Uh, 
But uh, on the other hand, uh, they're still running on ClusterFS on itself. So it's, it's, yeah, they might not be really satisfied with the solution, but it works. So <laughs> they're looking into a GPFS, EOS, and Dcache. At, as, as different storage solutions. Yeah. Docker, uh, I was very happy to see that there are two customers who use uh, Docker. So that was one of my other questions. Uh, are there large scale Im implementations that use Docker? Uh, there are actually two cloud store in Australia. Uh, they're really happy with Docker. Uh, I read, uh, <laughs> I saw, uh, saw the presentation. I mentioned it twice in two slides. Uh, there are actually words where we should have done this 18 months ago. So that was really nice to, to hear. But on the other hand, um, there's another customer uh, that switch, switch drive who told me yesterday that they're not, they're using um, Docker as well, but they're not that happy with Docker. So uh, I hope I have an email from him in my in inbox that says why they're not happy with Docker because I'm very curious. Um, other stuff, um, MyCore has an issue with the version app, they say. Um, it, it causes too much load. Oh yeah, Switch Drive was the one who had problems with uh, the storage on the, from the, when they put the storage from the SQL service on the Ceph storage, and they moved to uh, SSD. They also had a, 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 a of one volume, a one tera 100 terabyte volume, lazy zeroed, uh, and they've moved that to uh, two terabytes. Uh, and after that, they uh, could go on beyond two, 4,000 users. Oh yeah, um, the OS is interesting. Um, I was, I was, uh, uh, where, where, sorry, yeah? Object-based storage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, 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 yeah, that's uh, the um, UniP. They use their, uh, they use Ceph and they use this uh, Rados and Keystone for Swift access. But they didn't mention that much about it. No. But it's the same question we have. Uh, should we go for object-based storage or should we go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we were thinking. It, I think it's, there's a connection to do you want uh, one site or multiple sites as well. I think that's something Nextcloud should say something about it. But that's one of my questions on the end. So he can answer that. Yeah, so um, if I put that documentation together. Yeah, sorry? Uh, the operating system or the distribution is not similar to what we have in Europe. So Red Hat CentOS is very strong here. Is that a reason? Uh, in Europe, we have 50% Red Hat usage, 50% Google more or less, and here it's nearly 90% Red Hat usage. Yeah. Right. Well, maybe, maybe that's the, uh, the reason is that, that it's the recommendation from Nextcloud, but it's not. It's, no, not a hard recommendation, but I think that mostly because of the uh, enterprise support you can get. That's that's what I think. But Well, the, 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 it, the documentation isn't really clear on uh, should you use Red Hat Enterprise Linux because in the, further on in the documentation it says they support all major distributions that have uh, 
uh, have enterprise support and an easy way to update their OS. So it's yeah, it's 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 in the if you if we go back here. Yeah, on, on, on these docs where they, they, they show the um, uh, system requirements, there's, there's Red Hat Enterprise Linux n named exclusively, but further on in the text, uh, there are also a lot of others mentioned. So that's one of my other questions. So I think we'll come back to that. Um, one other thing that I was really happy about was this one. <laughs> and it should be a good sign for tomorrow as well. Uh, they use Ubuntu, and that's what we use. So I'm really happy that to see a customer of a large size uh, uh, use Ubuntu. Let me see, switch drive, 20,000 users. Yeah, that's the, that's the maximum we want to go, so <coughs> that looks good for us. Hmm. Concept design, yeah. So if I put all, those, uh, all that together, uh, the documentation on the website, uh, the all the, the stories from the large customers, I, I think I'll come to this. Um, we'll, 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 uh, we'll start at designing for 10,000 users because that's certain. The 20,000 users isn't certain, so uh, uh, we'll just want to uh, start uh, an implementation and sc a scalable design that can scale to 10,000 users. And uh, uh, after that, we should scale beyond that, but uh, that's not taken in account right now. But if I'm honest, I think the design could scale no problem to 20,000 users, as, as we saw. Um, we would probably start out with uh, four, VM, four web servers, uh, SVMs, uh, low, low hardware, low memory, uh, and just uh, see what the load are, are on these servers. If they have network load, if they have CPU load, memory load, uh, and then uh, do something about uh, the, the load we're seeing. <coughs> so it could be that if you have a memory problem, uh, we just stay on four VMs but have a lot of memory per VM, <coughs> or uh, a network problem, and then we'd scale out to more VMs. <coughs> or uh, put more network cards in it could be an option as well. Everyone uses Apache, I think. There's, no, there's one customer who uses Nginx, I think, but I don't have that much data, but most of them use Apache. Uh, I saw also some, uh, some documentation that Nginx is not, not, uh, doesn't have all the features that's, that, are, that are in PHP. Am I correct? Okay, well, the, doc, the recommendation says Apache, the large customers are on Apache, so we're going to go Apache as well. Uh, PHP version uh, seven, I think, if I look at uh, the blog posts about the performance uh, differences between 5.5 and seven, they're huge. <coughs> so uh, there isn't, I think there's not a reason, not a reason to go not for version seven. Do you agree? Well, that's, that's the reason mm. not to seven because if you start running distribution, you start to support seven, right? So <laughs> that's the challenge. I mean, from a yeah. pure PHP and Excel perspective, PHP seven is a lot faster and nicer and everything. But I think you can only lose at the moment if you use Ubuntu because the latest SDS version actually contains PHP seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, Ubuntu. <laughs> I forgot my Ubuntu t shirt, but, but yeah. Yeah. 
OK. So that should also. Also, also have a pending uh, right. Open. Uh, if they wrong this, like, do this code, or do you do it? I didn't get a default. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it works, or at least it used to work. I'm pretty sure it still works. I don't know what the performance differences are between HHPM and HP7. Yeah, I don't know. The benchmark says that HP7 is. Okay, um, where was I? PHP, yeah. Um, uh, the own cloud version, well, we're going for next cloud 11, I think. Uh, there's uh, some improvements on uh, S3 storage coming, I think. There's, there's one question in the slides as well, going into a little a bit more of detail. Um, but, and we're designing uh, uh, right now, so uh, we don't expect to be operational until half two, 2017 or so. <coughs> so uh, we have the time to wait for our uh, uh, next cloud 11. Uh, and also, uh, if, because we're not sure which kind of storage we want, we think, think we want uh, Swift storage, uh, uh, this could be a, a big improvement. We would go for MariaDB, as we are already running it, uh, and with a Calera setup like the most customers do. We would also start with four VMs, uh, with four cores and 25 gigs of memory, and just scale up uh, depending on uh, where the load is, or scale out, scale up or scale out, uh, depending on where the load is. And of course, SSD storage on the, uh, on the SQL nodes. Uh, network, uh, yeah, we've got uh, hardware load bands already in place, so for us, it seems more logical to use them uh, but if, if that doesn't succeed or doesn't uh, has problems, uh, we would just go to max scale because everyone uses that and they're really satisfied with it. <laughs> so I don't think that's an issue. That's more uh, uh, a personal preferences to use the hardware load balancers not on our sites. Um, number of sites, yeah, that's um, that's interesting. Uh, I think at some point we'll go to multiple sites but uh, we'll start at one site. So that's another big question on which kind of storage should we use. And also, if we want multi-site, how should we deploy that? Because they're not, uh, I don't think there are any recommendations for that online uh, that I could find. Yes? What is your maximum on those file size? Um, I think we have five gigabytes quota per user, but not uh, not really, uh, oh, yeah, we haven't thought of that yet, <laughs> actually. Because in modern performance, if you have some kind of 4K video, I think from whatever, it's not worth it at all, and I don't know, I don't know, one, two, four, I don't know, I Because we have the problem with the big files, what, what kind of storage do we use? Where do you think the problem lies with uh, with that? Uh, 
I've got in the other slides, uh, I've, uh, there are a few customers say how large their um, files are on the system. And most of them say of that there are two or three of them who make this claim and they say 95%, uh, 90% is smaller than 10 megabytes. So, yeah. But there are also a few customers who say they have a few users that have a lot of data and a lot of files, <laughs> and a lot of large files as well. Okay, um, uh, storage, uh, that's, 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 uh, yeah, that's a hard one for me, uh, at least, uh, for us. We don't know which way we want to go. I think this is where we need the most help uh, because our, this storage solution is just for Nextcloud. Um, uh, uh, I know that, that Nextcloud is not uh, a storage provider, uh, but I'm hoping they can help me a little bit with my, uh, uh, with my choices. Uh, I think the uh, one or two sites is uh, 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 an important uh, question to make. Um, and uh, yeah, well, if you see the, the space we're going to use, it's, that's all within uh, the limits of the limits or the, the amounts that the other users, the clients use as well. So. I'm not that worried. It's just uh, we're not sure which storage system to to use. Um, as I said, we're going to run Ubuntu. Uh, our main uh, identity source is Active Directory, so um, I, th I think that should be fully supported. I saw it in the previous presentation, but I have some questions about the setup for for that. And uh, we like Docker a lot. So uh, uh, the other, there are two customers who use it successfully, uh, at least one. The other one, I'm not really sure. But that's enough for me to just uh, uh, go for it. <coughs> because we see a really big uh, advantage on the deployment, uh, at least uh, also for the rollback. Um, yeah, this is where I'll give this thing to you, and then you can stand here <laughs> and answer my question, and I'm going to sit like this. 